hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so today we are going to be talking about eye and skin retouching you know i mean frequency separation how you can get the right skin texture how you can get the realistic skin texture you know i'm not talking about plastic ones you know there are some that will just be too smooth and then no skin texture at all we are going to be i'm going to be showing you how you can get the real skin texture out of your pictures i can turn the picture such as this to this in a matter of you know few minutes from this to this so let's dive right into photoshop so this is our picture this is the picture we're going to be working on and um i always advise to always duplicate your layers first the first thing should be to duplicate your layers so that's what i'll be doing now duplicate your layers and then the next thing is to remove the pimples and everything spots on the face so if you're doing that with um the spot healing tool here, yeah, the, the spot healing brush tool here. Yeah. <laughs> so let's dive right into it. Yeah. So just click on the spot and then remove them one by one. Just click and that's all. Just click and Photoshop will remove the spots. Be the pimples, blemish, even marks. Everything will be removed. So just click like this. So you have to adjust the size of your brush with respect to the kind of, I mean, the size of the spot you're also removing. So if you are removing a tiny brush, sorry, a tiny spot, adjust the brush to be, you know, small also. So I think I'm done with this. So you can say before, after, before, after. So the next thing is to duplicate your layer. I mean, this layer that you've patched, just duplicate it twice. One, two. <laughs> So you can, rename, you can rename the middle one to be blur. And then the highest one to be, let's say, texture. So on the blur layer, go to your filter. Then um, blur, Gaussian blur. So I will be using a blur radius of um, 6. This is not a fixed radius. This is not a fixed value. The value you will be using will be dependent on the resolution and sharpness of your image. If the image is more sharper than this, I mean, if it's more sharper and the resolution is more than this, I can use something like even 8 or 10. But for this picture, I will be using 6. And in subsequent videos, I'll be telling you the consequences of using a lesser and a higher, you know, amount of value. So, okay. <laughs> Under the texture, go to your um, image, apply image. Under the layer, select Blur. Then under the blending mode, select Subtract. There will be cases where you'll be selecting Hard instead of Subtract. But, uh, okay, as I've said earlier also, in subsequent videos, I'll be telling you why select Subtract, why select Hard. And how do I know if I'm to select Subtract? How do I know if I'm to select Hard? But for this picture, we'll be using Subtract. So, okay, change the blending mode to um, Linear Light. <laughs> So let's group these two layers, detection and blur. Let's group them. Control G. Yeah, so on top, let's add the black and white layer. This black and white is going to be the one to help us with the, you know, highlights and shadows. So reduce the red very well. Yeah, a bit like this. So you can easily spot where the highlights are and then where the shadows are. So go to your blur. <laughs> then select your um, mixer brush tool. So for my mixer brush tool, I'll be using a weight of 9%, load of 75, mix 90, flow 100%. Okay, so we'll be painting on highlights alone and then shadows alone. You are not to mix painting your shadows with your highlights like this. You can't paint like this. It has to be like this or like this. Because when you mix the shadows and highlights, then you are changing the facial construction you know, of the face. And by doing that, you will be changing the total look of the person. And we don't want that to happen, you know. So let's just start. Let's dive right into it. So I'll be painting on the nose contours now. You can see I'm painting straight because that's the direction of the highlight. So let me go to the shadows also. Just click on hold, then drag. That's how to paint. Click, hold, then drag.
Also, the radius of your brush, of your mixer brush, should be with respect to, you know, the size of the place where you are painting on. Okay, so, to the jaw. I'm sorry, I have a lot of, sorry, a bit of kata. That's why I'm talking like this. And that's why I'm, you know, doing that with my nose. Just bear with me. Okay, the side of the nose now. Okay, I'm almost done with this side. Okay, it means the lower part of the nose here. When painting these sides, make sure your brush radius is not too high. So I'm going to just mix everything together. I think I'm good. I think I'm good there. Yeah. Upper part there. Yeah. If you notice that place just too dark, just increase the light a bit. So be visible very well. As you can see, I'm not just painting anyhow. Like, I'm not mixing the highlights with the shadows anyhow. So, has to be, you know, done with care. So, as not to change how the person looks. Okay, I think I'm done with the face. As you can see, quick and easy. Very quick and easy. I didn't even fast forward anything. Like, just like that. Quick and easy. So, on to the neck. And that's the neck. Because you can't just retouch the face alone, neglecting the neck or even the hand for a full picture. Also, be careful with the way you paint. If you see that you paint somewhere and then it's not looking well, you can always undo and then repaint, you know. Okay, let me turn off the black and white. So this is all we have. So before and after, let me do a little adjustment on the nose side here. Just making sure the notes turned out alone. So before, after, before, after. So that's that's just all with the retouch. So I'll be doing just a little bit of uh, tweaking now. I will change the background. So let me select the subject and then remove from the background so I can work on the background alone. So let me refine the hair. Okay, so I will duplicate that. So I have my picture here under the background. So I think I like the brown color. So let me change the background to something around a around brown. And let me bring in um one of my favorite textures. Yeah, change the blending mode to you know soft light. Yeah, I think I'm good to go. Yeah, I think I'm good to go. So let me just add a little bit of um, color balance. 
for the color grading aspect. I can a little bit of color fill, photo filter. And for a little depth, I can add um, levels, just darkening that a little bit. Okay, I think I'm good to go. So let me just brighten up the highs. Always remember, there is no single way to achieving a thing on Photoshop. No single way. Just have to choose which works best for you. For example, cleaning the eyes now, this is not the only way. Using black and white is not the only way. We have so many ways. We have some people will even you know disagree with this method. So, but you know, who cares? As long as it's fine, it's beautiful, pictures are popping, then the hand will always justify the means. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think I'm good to go. So let me pack everything inside a single folder now. From here to... Okay, from here to here. From to G. Okay, so this is before. After. Before. After. Let's zoom in and check details. Yeah. Before. After. Before. After. So as you can see, this method retains the original skin texture, so realistic and beautiful. It retains the original skin texture. So once again, before, after, before, after. So if there's anything, any question you have whatsoever, please let me know in the comment section below. And then if there's anything you'd like me to work on, if there's anything you want me to make a video on as we get photo editing, just let me know also in the comment section. We are going to be treating it in the next video. Don't forget, like this video, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and let people know that, okay, they can get the things like this here. Once again, thank you for joining my YouTube channel. God bless.